Hey there, ever wanted to know how to change the locking pawl springs on your Boon Edom Turn Lock 100 full height turnstile? Well, today we're gonna show you how. I'm Grizz with the turnstile crew here at Avant Garde. We bring you the best tips, tools, and products to keep your organization secure and up and running. If you find this video helpful, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to learn more. We also love hearing your suggestions and questions in the comments. If you have not already watched our how to troubleshoot your Boon Edom Turn Lock 100 full height turnstile video, please click the link in the description as always, our first step should be to turn off our Boon Edom full height. Disconnect the PCB wiring harness. Next, you'll want to loosen the speed control adjustment knob to relieve pressure from the speed control. Then we're going to remove the Allen bolt from the arm and the snap ring from the top of the ratchet assembly. You'll then remove the washer and the speed control plate and the speed control hub along with the PCB activator and shaft key. So using a 17 metric rinse, remove the four nuts here, 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 and here. And lift the plate from the ratchet assembly. Take note of the order in which the lock rings, washers, and spacers are in to ensure proper reinstallation. Remove the lock rings, washers, and lock arms to expose the locking pawl springs. You'll then replace the locking pawl springs and reinstall the spacers, lock arms, and washers. Here's a pro tip for you. The short side of the spring goes against the lock arm, and the long side of the spring goes against the L bracket. The configuration of fail lock and fail safe will determine which side of the lock arm the short side of the spring rests upon. You will then reassemble the activator hub, speed control plate, and reinstall the snap ring. Then reconnect the PCB wiring harness, reconnect your speed control. Last thing we need to do is turn on power, provide an activation, and check for travel of the ratchet assembly and that the lock pawl arm is moving away from the ratchet assembly, allowing passage. Congratulations, you've now replaced two locking pawl springs on your Boone Edom Turn Lock 100. If you need on-site service from one of our turnstile specialists, please contact our service department. If you feel like your turnstile is beyond repair, check out the link in the description for a list of full height turnstiles that are typically in stock at Avant Garde. Hopefully you found this information useful. If so, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for new content. If you have suggestions, please leave those in the comments below and feel free to message us anytime. Thanks for tuning into the turnstile guys. And remember, stick with the pros. We'll see you next time.